During a public meeting today, President Jonathan Nez says that they plan on requesting a major disaster declaration soon, which would free up more federal and state funding as they prepare for what they're calling the worst state of the nation. It really is a dire situation that is starting to have very significant personal impact on the on the care that we provide. The Navajo Nation in crisis mode for a second time. Our hospitals are reaching a breaking point and a point of crisis with the number of patients that we're having to see both for COVID and for non-COVID care. The nation is seeing a shortage of supplies and almost all of their hospital beds are full. They're also needing more health care workers to keep up with the surging number of cases popping up around the nation. We are trying to stretch our nursing resources as far and as fast as we can. We are trying to onboard people as quickly as we can. We are trying to fill in the gaps utilizing nursing contracts. During the nation's first wave, they were able to transport patients who needed higher care to hospitals in bigger cities. That is no longer available. The entire state, our, our regional resources are being also stretched to the limits. Nez says this second wave on the Navajo Nation is looking more damaging than the first. There's a pro projection. This projection says that this virus will be worse four to five times more than what we faced in May. And doctors say that they're having to compete with other cities for nurses and respiratory therapists. They're asking for any volunteers or retired workers to help them in the coming weeks. Reporting in Albuquerque, Marissa Armas, KOAT Action 7 News. President Nez said they have quarantine sites set up at hotels for people who need to isolate from family members with the virus. Doctors are telling citizens to wear face masks at all times, even inside their home.